guys, my name is Alicia Britton. Have you ever wondered how to change your oil so you do not have to be overcharged by dealerships and wait hours in that lounge area? Today I'm going to show you how to effectively change your oil in your vehicle as well as inform you on the type of oil your vehicle will take or how many quarts of oil the vehicle will need. After working in the service department at a car dealership, I have learned to properly change the oil in a vehicle and would love to in spread my knowledge to others on how to do that as well. If you do the routine maintenance on your vehicle, it can become costly. After learning to effectively change your own oil, you can avoid paying the labor as well as sitting in the lounge area for hours. To properly change the oil in your vehicle, you will first need to know what types of oil your vehicle takes, how many quarts of oil your vehicle will need, and the proper steps to actually do the oil change. Every vehicle will take either conventional, synthetic, or a synthetic blend oil. That, that's the three most common ones. Um, every vehicle will take different amounts of oil as well, so that's why you'll need to know how many quarts of oil your vehicle needs. Something small like a Toyota Corolla, it'll take maybe around four to five quarts of oil, whereas a Toyota Tundra takes around eight quarts of oil. The proper, you'll also need to know the proper steps to be taken as far as how to do the oil change and how to safely discard the old oil. Learning the proper way to change your oil can save you money in the long run. As Eric Baxter says in the article, how to choose the right oil for your car or truck. You'll first need to know the type of oil your vehicle takes. Your vehicle may take synthetic oil. Synthetic oils are made for high tech engines and are recommended to be changed every 10,000 miles. Out of all three oils, synthetic oil is the most expensive. It's around three times more costly than conventional oil. Another type of oil is the synthetic blend oil. Synthetic blend is the, essentially just pre, premium conventional oil with just a touch of synthetic oil. Synthetic blend costs just a little bit more than conventional oil and it's typically used for vehicles like SUVs. The next type of oil is conventional oil. Conventional oil is a great oil for drivers who put very little miles on their vehicle and uh, conventional oil also should be changed every 5,000 miles. Conventional oil is the lowest costing oil in dealerships as well as the auto parts store. After knowing what type of oil your vehicle takes, you'll need to know how many quarts of oil your vehicle will take. The article, How to Find Engine Oil Capacities, written by Christopher Lampton, explains just how to find out how many quarts of oil your vehicle takes. You'll, you can find the oil capacity for your car just by checking your owner's manual. If you have an owner's manual, you can go through the table of contents and locate it where it's mentioned how many quarts of oil your vehicle takes. You can also check the oil capacity by using the dipstick on your vehicle. Let your engine cool for about 5 minutes before using your dipstick. Locate the dipstick on your vehicle and pull it out. Take a clean rag and wipe off the dipstick and then take the dipstick and reinsert it back to where you pulled it from and then pull it back out the dipstick will have a mark on it and it will show where your oil should be or if you've had too little oil or too much oil now that you know the type of oil your car takes and how many quarts of oil your vehicle needs now it's the time to actually do the oil change now I'll be showing you some photos near the end of the steps it takes to do the actual oil change I have gotten permission from my boss as well as our shop foreman to take these photos and use them in my presentation. The Mobile One article, How to Change Your Car's Motor Oil and Filter, explains the steps of how to do an oil change. You will need to have the proper tools for the, for the oil change. To change the oil properly, you will need the right amount of quarts of oil for your car, the right oil filter, a socket wrench, an oil filter wrench, a funnel, an oil pan or bucket, and rags. First you'll need to drain the old motor oil, let the vehicle run for a minute or two before you change the oil, and under the vehicle you'll locate the oil pan and drain plug. Put the oil, put the oil pan or bucket in place and take the socket wrench to loosen the drain plug. 
turning it clockwise. Let the oil drain until it slows down to a drip, then tighten the drain plug back in place. Second, you will need to replace the oil filter. Keep the oil pan or bucket where it is. Loosen the oil filter with the oil filter wrench, then remove slowly by hand. Apply a little motor oil to the gasket to prevent it from sticking, cracking, or causing an oil leak. You'll tighten the oil, fil the, the oil filter by hand and, until it's fairly tight. Thirdly, you'll need to add the new motor oil. Loosen the oil filler cap and place the funnel into the opening. Pour the correct amount of oil needed for the vehicle slowly into the funnel. Remove the funnel, tighten the oil filler cap in place. Clean up all your spills or messes and stuff like that. Fourthly, and explained in the article, Use Motor Oil Recycling by Mobile One, you will need to dispose the old oil. To dispose the old oil, you can take it to an oil change facility or a household waste recycling facility near you. It's really up to you where you decide to take it and recycle it. Taking the time to learn the process of changing your oil can be beneficial to you. Learning what type of oil your vehicle takes, the amount it needs, and how to actually do the oil change is helpful to you and anyone else who is willing to learn to do the oil change on their vehicles. Now you don't have to worry about how to change your oil and you will not be ever charged for an oil change as well as you will you'll find yourself not having to wait in a lounge right here for hours.